What's going on everybody? This is Phil from Millennial Money Gains and I want to welcome you back to a brand new video. If you are new to the channel, I want to take this time to personally welcome you to it. Let me tell you a little bit about the channel. On the channel, we talk about everything stock analysis, investing, and personal finance. If that is something that interests you, please consider hitting that subscribe button. We post on here every Monday and Wednesday at 9 a.m. Eastern, and sometimes I'll throw in a Friday video like this one at 9 a.m. Eastern. So, please consider hitting that subscribe button and turn that post notification button on. That way you will get notified every time I do post a video. In today's video, we are going to go over how to make passive income every week and every month by selling puts. It is easy as that, and we are going to show you exactly how to do it. So, with that being said, enough talk, and let's hop right into the video, and let's see how you guys can make passive income every week, just like I do. Let's hop right into it. Alright guys, so I am going to try to the best of my ability explain to you exactly how you can make passive income every single week just by selling puts. So I will bring up my Robinhood account here and that way you can follow along and I will walk you through exactly what I did. So this morning we bought, we sold a put on Fubo stock, ticker symbol is F-U-B-O. Now Fubo stock is currently trading at around $49.80 at the time I am making this video. Fubo is a live stream, a streaming company that makes movies and you can stream different shows and movies and sports and whatnot. I've done a stock analysis on Fubo as one of my videos so if you want you can go check that out but make sure you watch this video first. Alright so hopping right into selling a put. So first we will walk in exactly how to do it so you would go to trade and then you go to trade options I have it on my phone here then you will go to the next available date which for me was February 5th and then you go to sell and a put so I chose a $49 strike price which I got a premium I believe was about $286 so what that means is I bought one contract and I would keep, I keep that $286 as a premium no matter what. So I keep that as a premium and if this stock does not get exercised by the person that bought the put, if it does not get exercised, then I get to keep the premium and I don't have to buy the stock. Now if it does get exercised, say the price goes below $49 and it does get exercised, they took a collateral from me to buy 100 shares of Fubo stock at $49. So they took $4,900 in collateral from me in order for me to get that premium. So on Friday, which is two days from now, if Fubo stock does not go fall below that $49 mark and my contract does not get exercised, then I will keep that premium and I will get my collateral back. If I do have to spend the money on the shares, that's 100 shares, I am very comfortable with buying that. I am very bullish on Fubo as a stock long term, and I'm comfortable about buying the 100 shares. So you have to make sure you are only doing this with stocks that you are comfortable buying. Now the more expensive the stock, usually the more expensive the premium that you get to receive. So depending on how much collateral you have, you can do this on a monthly basis and weekly basis and just turn it into a weekly income. So as with this Fubo, I am getting, I received about almost a $300 premium and I just did it this morning. So for three days, $300, that's 100 bucks a day in complete passive income. And then if I have to buy the stock, I am not afraid of that. I am, will be very happy to buy that stock at $49 because I am very bullish on the company long term. So that is pretty much all it is to selling puts. Make sure you're doing your research on the stocks that you are selling puts on because they have to be good companies. If it's a failing company that just keeps going down and your put gets exercised, then you will be holding shares and be a bag holder of a failing company, which you do not want. But if it is a good company and you sell the puts and you don't mind buying the shares, then you don't have to buy the, the shares after. If you, if the stock doesn't, if your contract doesn't get exercised. 
But that's why you have to make sure you don't mind buying the shares just in case it does. Now, let's say I don't, I really want to try to stay away from buying Fubo shares, even though I like the company, because I would never sell a put on a company that I didn't like and didn't believe in. But let's say I did not want to buy it. I could scroll down and go all the way to a $32 put here right now. Since it's expiring in two days and it's a $32 put, Fubo is very unlikely to drop all the way from $49, $50 to $32, right? That's very unlikely to happen. So you're only getting an $8 premium. Uh, $8 premium. So the more, the closer you get to the date and the less of a stock price, strike price you hit, the less of a premium you will get. But you can make some serious money in doing this. If you go look at the selling Tesla puts, um, if you have the collateral for it, but remember you have to, you would have to have buy 100 shares of Tesla at that price. So you got to make sure you have the collateral for it. But if you do, you can make very good money weekly on a weekly basis. So with that FUBO put, I made about 6% on my money with that, which is really good for me. It's passive income and I also don't mind buying the shares if I have to. But just in comparison, the S&P 500 returns about 8% per year. And I just got 6% in three days. No matter what, I got 6% on my money. Now, if FUBO does take a dip, then I will be stuck holding a bag for a bit. But I think I'm very bullish on this long term. So I won't be afraid to hold on to that for a little bit. And then if I have to, I'll just do the opposite and I'll sell some calls with it. So that will go over in another video. If you guys want to see that, make sure you comment down below. I will definitely do a video on selling calls as well. But guys, get that passive income in. Selling puts, that's the way to do it. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure you smash that like button. I really do appreciate that. If you guys want to subscribe to my channel, I really also do appreciate that. I post here, like I said, every Monday and Wednesday at 9 a.m. Eastern. And sometimes I will add a third video on Fridays at 9 a.m. Eastern. So make sure you turn that post notification bell on. That way you get notified every single time I make a video. But with that being said, I really appreciate everyone for sticking around. And if you made it to the end of the video, comment down below your favorite stock right now. I really want to know some of your opinions. Make sure you use hashtag stocks. That way I know you made it to the very end of the video. Make sure you comment that down below. I really do appreciate you all for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.